Meghan Markle has been making friends all over California since relocating, being pictured yesterday at dinner with the likes of Cameron Diaz and Gwyneth Paltrow. Meghan Markle, 41, relocated to California with her husband Prince Harry, 38, in 2020, with the couple seemingly settling into a life in Hollywood. After reports that Meghan and Harry had been making friends all over Tinseltown, according to Richard K. Express.co.uk looks into the suit's actress' latest friendships. Meghan and Harry were seen for the first time since King Charles III's coronation during a sushi date in California. The couple did not dine solo however, and were joined by the likes of Gwyneth Paltrow and her husband, TV producer, Brad Falchik. They were also accompanied by Cameron Diaz and her husband, Benji Madden as well as the CEO and founder of Bumble, Whitney Wolfherd, and her husband, Texas oil heir Michael Hurd. While it is not known how exactly Meghan crossed paths with her new friends, the actress sure looks for equally successful women. Gwyneth, similar to Meghan, started off her career in acting and even won an Oscar for Best Actress in 1999 for Shakespeare in Love. Her main interest however is in the wellness industry, with the actress opening her own brand called Goop, similar to Meghan's now defunct, The Tig. There have been rumors of The Tig's return. With the Duchess getting preliminary approval to revive the website after getting engaged to Prince Harry in 2017. Like Goop, the revamped blog would offer tips on food, travel, fashion, the arts, design, conscious living and wellness. While it is not known how the friendship originated between the pair, Gwyneth could be giving Meghan key advice for her latest business venture. Meanwhile, Cameron Diaz is currently masking her return to acting after leaving the industry for eight years. When the Charlie's Angels star made the decision to pause her acting career she was the highest paid actress over 40. In the years since, Cameron has branched into lifestyle work and even launched her own wine brand named Abilene. 